Jerry ripping the numbers down low. Watch that Summit scoreboard. Top end of the racetrack, 691, 193 miles an hour. A 728 for Kelly Klontz. Her bike was uh, looked like it was struggling right off the starting line. Basically, from the time it came up on the two-step, it looked like something maybe wasn't right. But Jerry at 691 will put him right now in the number three spot. It'll put him number three. Rider, rider down. And problem up on the top end of the racetrack. Apparently, uh, one of our riders got into trouble down there. Can't see exactly who or what from this position, but our safety safari is right on top of it. Well, I told you that once they uh, got a chance to look Kelly over, they would let us know. She is walked away under her own power. She is chit-chatting down there with the medical staff, and that is the absolute best news that we can hear in a situation like that. You never want to come off of anything, especially a motorcycle. No, it absolutely is, and uh, any sort of – when we look at these runs and we talk about a pro-stock motorcycle – the deceleration process, we've had a couple riders this year in testing have top-end accidents, and it didn't come on the racetrack. It came during that deceleration process. It does not take much to upset one of these motorcycles. Obviously, they carry virtually no suspension at all other than a little bit of travel in the front end. So it, uh, there's Chris Klontz right there. That's her husband pushing the motorcycle away. And Alan, from what we saw in that brief shot, the motorcycle is largely intact. Yeah, it definitely looks like it from there. And, and when her husband is concentrating on the motorcycle, I think that's the truest thing you could ever get that – you know, he's not concerned with Kelly. She is still talking to the safety folks down there and getting checked over. I imagine her blood pressure is a little high right now, but it uh, looks like it went down on its side. The most important thing is that Kelly was able to walk away under her own power. Yeah, and you can tell the bike skidded itself into the sand uh, the sand trap down there. You saw some pea gravel on the left-hand side of the motorcycle where it, uh, where it laid over. So good news that Kelly Klontz is intact. They'll go back and make determination whether she wants to continue riding this weekend does appear though here we go we have a look now at the the say sunoco vision screen you can see kelly hard on the brakes there smoking the tire and the bike pitching over to the left side yeah when that front tire locks up it doesn't take much for it to slide away and the bike slid out from under fortunately she separated herself from the motorcycle you do not want to get caught up in that and just kind of go for the roll There's not a whole lot more somebody can do in a situation like that. There isn't. And the one thing that always is harrowing on these motorcycles, of course, the very long length of that wheelie bar when it starts turning around, she was clear of it. And this was the initial response here. She's, this was from a few minutes ago. She's able to stand up and walk with the safety folks on and win in her own power. So you can tell. You know, in moments like this, we see more frustration and anger than we see anything else. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's amazing to me how often somebody in that situation, and it doesn't matter if it's a funny car that's been on fire, if it's a pro stock car that's been upside down. How bad is my car? How bad yeah. is my bike? You know, is, is the bike okay? And uh, The man standing to the left side of the shot speaking to Kelly now, this is Dr. Phil Surface, who is the NHRA's lead medical official. An enormous drag racing fan as well. He loves the sport with a big passion. Yeah, for those of you that may not know, we have a doctor on site all the time at each and every national event just in case we run into an incident where we need more expertise than a paramedic or a safety safari official can give them. There's always a certified doctor on site here. And Dr. Surface is going to look her over. Look down at the Sunoco Vision screen there as Kelly Klontz walking away after being checked by our NHRA medical officials down at the top end. and Thumbs up from her. They got a long night of work to do. Yep. Kelly Klontz, we do have her standing by with us. And you got a hug from Angel. Angie ran over and hugged you as well. When a moment like that happens, describe the support of this community and how it helps you. Oh, something like that is like, you know, that happens and it's never happened to me before. I've been racing for 20 years. So, you know, before I knew it, I, I grabbed a hold of the brakes and Nora walks a little short and it comes quick. And, you know, I was pumping them. And then before I knew it, it was like there was nothing I could do. And I'm like, oh, God, wait till Chris gets back here. He's going to be so mad. But no, I mean, it. you know, it is what it is. I'm fine. I'll probably be sore tomorrow, but I'm fine. And this is not the way that I wanted to get a camping world hat. So I hope mom and dad know I'm OK, but I'm OK. It's so. glad to see you. Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if they're going to be able to fix the bike. That's uh, the first question.